Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a extra, extra, extra small or teacup size dog sweater. Um, or it will even fit a kitten. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a teacup size dog sweater. Um, so you're going to need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need scissors, a darning needle, and some baby yarn. Today we are using Burnett Softy Baby, and this is 100% acrylic. Um, it is Sport DK. That's what it says right there. Okay. And this one is mint. Okay. So we're going to use this. I'm going to find the end from the middle. So, of course, I have to have a little bit of yarn vomit here. Oh, come on now. Where's the middle? Oh my goodness, let's find the middle. See, everyone suffers with finding the middle. Okay, I'm gonna find the middle and I'll be back. Okay, I found the middle. <laughs> so we're all good. Um, so you're also gonna need some scrap yarn of the, at the same weight, okay? So we're gonna start by making our chain. So I cross my yarn and we're going to chain 40. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Anyway, chain 40 and meet me back. I've chained 40 and now without twisting my stitches, I'm going to go back into that very first chain we made. Yarn over, pull through with a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain up two, one, two, and we're going to do half double crochets all the way around. So you will have without counting the chain two, 40 half double crochets. To do a half double crochet, you go yarn over into the stitch, yarn through, yarn over, and you go through all three stitches. I'll show you again, yarn over into that chain, grab your yarn, pull through, yarn over through all three loops. So we're gonna do that all the way around. For 40 and then meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 40 half double crochets and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that second chain that we did for our chain two and I'm going to slip stitch into that and then I'm going to chain up two. Now we're going to do a total of 12 rows, okay? So this is row one. We're going to do a total of 12. So here's what I want you to do though. When you did this row, you went in the chain. Next time, I want you to go into that first stitch. And then after that, you'll go into the chain and then the first stitch. And you're gonna alternate it. And what that prevents, at least for me, is I don't have my join start going sideways. It goes straight up and down. So 12 rows, round and round and round and join into the chain, join into the stitch, and meet me back. Okay, so I've done 12 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna slip stitch, I'm ending on the stitch row. Chain up two. Now we are going to 
half double crochet in 20, okay? So let's count them out. One, two, and I never count that chain as a stitch. Three, four, excuse my yarn vomit here. I'm still working from that horrible pull from the middle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, uh oh, oh. Nine, ten. Anyway, you're going to do 20, and then you're going to go back and forth on those 20 stitches, counting this row for six rows. Do that and meet me back. So I've done six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail. And very gently, I'm going to pull that tail through my loop, but I'm not pulling it tight, okay? We don't want to pull it tight because we have to pull it out later. Okay, so now we're going to start doing the chest. And we'll start that in just a sec. Okay, so now we are gonna attach here with our yarn. We're just gonna grab it, pull it through, and chain up two. And now we're gonna pick up 20 half double crochets across. Don't count that chain two. So two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, whoops, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. Okay, so now we're going to chain up two. Now we're going to start decreasing because this is the chest part. So here's how I decrease. Yarn over into this stitch, pull through. Yarn over into the next stitch, pull through. You have five loops, one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, you're going through all five loops, okay? So we're gonna decrease at both ends. So that means this row is gonna have 18 stitches total. So that counts as one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
16. So we're doing our 17 stitch. So this means this is our last stitch. So we gotta turn these two stitches into one. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into that next stitch, pull through, five loops, one, two, three, four, five loops, yarn over, pull through all five. Chain up two, we're ready to do our next row. Turn your work. So now, we start at 20, then it'll be 18, then 16. I want you to go all the way down to 10 and then meet me back, okay? Okay, so I've decreased down to 10. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the other side and in that chain two, I am going to do a slip stitch. Chain up two. Make my loop big. Now, you remember that one I told you not to knot tightly? Well, we're gonna go back, and we're gonna pull it out, and we're gonna attach this one to that chain two. Okay, with the slip stitch. on now and now we're gonna pull through our loop and this time we're pulling tight so what we've done is we've made our little armholes okay so now just like at the beginning we are gonna do half double crochets and we are gonna go around for three rows so remember, your first row is into the chain, the next row is into the stitch, and you should have 30 stitches now. So 30 stitches, not counting the chain. Um, go into the chain and into the stitch and into the chain and meet me back. Okay, so I've done three rows, one, two, three, and I'm just gonna slip stitch into that chain. Make a big loop. Cut my yarn, pull tight. So at this point you have, my yarn had a fuzzy spot. Okay, um, at this point you have the base for any applique sweater for a dog or a kitten this size okay so if you have an applique that's say a pokeball or you have flowers or you want to put buttons on it or you have a patch fill your boots today's video we're going to do hearts because we're coming close to valentine's day so i'm going to go get some of that scrap yarn i was talking about we'll make our hearts and then we'll sew them off be right back okay so here are the scrap yarns i'm going to use I'm gonna move our sweater out of the way. So to make a heart, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cross our yarn and we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. Now in that first chain we did catching our tail, we are gonna do a double crochet, okay? We're gonna do three double crochet. One, two, three. We're gonna do three half double crochet. One, still in that same stitch, two, Three. Then we're going to chain one, do a double crochet, chain one, and now we're going to do all the same stuff back. So three half double crochet, one, three 
and you can keep shimmying your stitches out of the way. Three double crochet. One. Two. Three. Shimmy those stitches over. Chain three. One, two, three, and then slip stitch back into that hole. Make pull up a long. Okay, now leave a bit, uh, quite a bit of a tail because we're using it to sew it on. And we're gonna put our tail through our loop. Pull tight. And then if we did our, if we caught our tail right, this center should close up, which it did, and there we go. We've got a heart. Okay, and see, we can put it on our little dog sweater. Okay, so I'm gonna do one in every color. So I'm gonna do it again if you wanna watch. If you got it, just fast forward through this. So cross your yarn. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now going into that first chain, we're gonna catch our tail. Oops, I didn't grab yarn. So yarn over into that, catch our tail. We're doing three double crochets. One. Yeah, all in that same stitch, chain. Two. Three. Now we're doing half double crochets. We're doing three of them. One, two, three. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, shimmy those stitches over. And half double crochet for three. One, two, three, and then three double crochet, one, two, three, and then chain three, one, two, three, and slip stitch back into that first stitch. Okay. Pull your loop big. Leave quite a long tail because you're going to use it for sewing. Pull through the loop. And if we did our tail right in the beginning, this hole here, this hole right there, should close up so let's give that a tug and it closed up a little not so much there we go so we got two little hearts okay so that's those two colors i think i'm gonna do four hearts so do the four hearts meet me back i'll show you how to sew them up okay so just in case some of you have never sewn in threads here's how i do mine so I go through the stitches, but I'm not going through to the front. I'm just going at the back and I go up. So I, I am coming out here, but I go just a bit behind it. And then I pick up more stitches and go past it. And then I do thing that again. And I just do that for a bit until I've worked my thread through. Okay. And of course this is on the wrong side. Okay, and one of the reasons why I make the sweaters the way I do, like with with the, the knot that wasn't a, lot, a knot and that kind of thing, is so that we have fewer threads to hide. I hate hiding threads. I don't know if you do, but I sure do. So I try and do as few as possible. Some projects you can't help but have a bazillion threads to hide, but... And you notice I'm not making any knots. By doing this back stitching, um, 
your yarn will not, like there is no chance of this unraveling. So don't even worry about it. But it's because we're going back just a bit and then forwards past and then back just a bit and forward past. It's like it anchors it. This is how I do all my dog sweaters, cat sweaters, actually all my crocheting. So we've got this last one. And that's it for this sweater. And like I said, this sweater, this is the base. So if you have any kind of applique that you want to put on it, it doesn't have to be the hearts. Anything you find online on YouTube, um, if it's a patch even, or iron on patch or something, whatever floats your boat. Or if you just have some fancy buttons you want to use up. This is the basic dog sweater. So Okay, so I'm going to turn it back inside in, or the right side out, however you want to call it. Okay, so see, it's very small. It will fit a kitten. It fits a beanie baby stuffy a little big, but I mean, you know how teeny those are. Okay, so let's take one of our hearts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle with that middle thread, okay? And if I can thread my needle, I'm working around a camera, so I have an extra challenge. Let's try that one again. There we go. Okay, so if your hole didn't close up very well, just sew it up with this tail here. I usually just go around the hole and pull it tighter, but again, I'm going a little bit behind where I started. And this is on the wrong side. And then I'm gonna leave the sewing thread, I'm gonna snip this one off, and I'm just gonna leave that sewing thread for after we decide placement. So you can do that to all your hearts. I did four, you could do less, you could do more, um, whatever you want. It's really, that's the great thing about being able to make these sweaters for your, our pets, our little four, four legged babies, is that we can do whatever we want, any design we want, and it's gonna be unique, right? Not every puppy is going to have the same sweater. And you'll notice some of mine are a little bit bigger than others. That's just because the weight of the yarn is just a teeny bit bigger. I used all the same size crochet hook. And these are just scrap balls. I mean, it's pretty funny. You know you have an issue when you save scrap balls that are like that big <laughs> but I hate to throw things out I'm big into recycling reusing using every last scrap so so we'll just get these middles done and see those have closed up really nicely okay and then we'll figure out placement and I'll show you how to sew on the heart. And if you already know how to do it, by all means, go right ahead. And if you haven't had a chance, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want notifications of when I do videos, hit the little bell. It doesn't always work, so if you're looking for a tutorial, check in on Thursdays. I try and do a new tutorial every Thursday. And I do slideshows of my work and what I have available in my Etsy store. Um, but those I don't have a day. I just do them whenever. Okay, so now how are we going to place these? So I'm thinking something like this, kind of like a spray sideways. So that's how I'm going to place them. So let's start with the gray one. 
And like I said, I'm working around a camera, so bear with me. And don't forget that anything homemade is not going to be perfect. So if it's not perfect, don't beat yourself up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm putting my hand so I don't accidentally sew my um, sweater together. What I'm going to do is I'm catching a little bit of the green. I'm not going all the way through. And I'm catching the green and going into the gray. And this is called a whip stitch. And I'm just going to do this all the way around. And I try and catch the crochet stitch like I would if I was crocheting. I go through both sides of it. And I just hold it in place with my thumb. And I just work my way around it with this whip stitch. Okay. Do that. And because you want your heart kind of pointed, I'm going to make sure I have one dead in the middle at the point. Okay, and then coming up the other side. And like I said, I'm just holding it there with, I don't even have to hold it anymore. because. And you just want to make sure you're catching that green and going through the gray. And if you need to turn it, just turn it. Whatever works for you. Okay, and I want to make sure that it's obvious it's a heart. So I'm going to go there and then I'm just going to go back into the gray, pull tight. And in the back here on the gray, you see how you can see the gray through? I'm going to kind of catch the gray through and here's where I'm going to knot. So I go through the loop once, I go through the loop twice. I pull tight, but I'm not pulling so tight that it distorts my heart. And then you never cut where you're not. You do a few more stitches. And that also makes your knot kind of f um, flush with uh, the rest. So your little fur baby doesn't have a knot poking in its back. And there you go. So you put your hearts on the way you want. I'm going to put the rest of my hearts on and then I'll take a picture and that's the end of our video. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and uh, check out my Etsy store, Little Gems Creations 1. Um, and at the end of this video, I will put a coupon code so you can get some money off. I don't just knit and crochet. I also do um, beadwork and jewelry and quilting. So yeah, check out my site. Okay. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.